Neil Armstrong walked on the moon and into the history books, July 20th, 1969. Tonight, the world remembers an American icon. Mourners have been leaving flowers outside Armstrong's home in Indian Hill since learning of his death late this afternoon. His family says the 82-year-old retired astronaut died of complications following heart surgery. Throughout his life, Armstrong remained close to Buzz Aldrin, who joined Armstrong on the surface of the moon just minutes after those famous first steps. Aldrin's wife released a statement on behalf of the family expressing their sadness. Aldrin said, whenever I look at the moon, it reminds me of the moment when I realized that even though we were farther away from Earth than two humans had ever been, we were not alone. Neil Armstrong spent the last decades of his life in and around the tri-state. He lived in a home in Indian Hill until his death. The first man on the moon gave to several Cincinnati organizations, including the airport, museum center, and to the University of Cincinnati. Nine News reporter Bill Price is live with more on the Neil Armstrong few of us really knew. Bill? Well, Julie, after he walked on the moon, Neil Armstrong also made some of his biggest contributions here in the tri-state here to the University of Cincinnati. You know, not many of the students who are here now know that uh, he was a professor of aerospace engineering for more than nine years during the 1970s. Most of us knew Neil Armstrong as one of the brave Apollo 11 astronauts, the one who was the first man to step foot on the moon. He was a hero, a star of a future in space. But the people who taught with him at UC saw a very different Neil Armstrong. He, he was just a, he was a very nice person, a very humble person. Uh, a person who really was very conscious of how people felt and how they would react to things. He was an excellent teacher, an excellent engineer. He was just a quiet, unassuming guy, uh, had no ego to, apparently to, to any of us, uh, he just uh, enjoyed working with the students. That was very important to the astronaut turned college professor. When Armstrong taught, all his students listened. They didn't blink. When Neil was lecturing, the, the rest of us students were doing different things. You know, it's students all. Well, you, you were a student, you know. Uh, they pay attention some of the times, but not all the time. But with Neil, it just, I think they might even stop breathing. I'm not sure. <laughs> they really paid attention. But he did a wonderful job. Although Armstrong didn't talk much about the space program, some of his colleagues sensed the sadness in Armstrong. He was unhappy with the way the, the space program progressed, you know, in terms of the lack of a mission after Apollo, uh, the way Apollo ended, uh, and uh, the fact that there was never any clear follow-on, uh, and I think he carried that to the end. But Armstrong will leave happy memories at Cincinnati Northern Kentucky Airport. He helped get more people calling it by its call letters CVG by saying they meant Cincinnati very good. And in fact, tomorrow the uh, Cincinnati Museum Center will do its bit to uh, honor Neil Armstrong by offering free admission to the Museum of Natural History and Science all day long. And it seems very appropriate because you may remember Armstrong personally helped with supporting of a museum levy some eight years ago. At the University of Cincinnati Live, Bill Price, 9 News. Thanks, Bill, for that report. We learned something tonight. Someone else who knew Armstrong well is U.S. Senator Rob Portman. He says Armstrong was a real Ohio guy who loved his roots. And Portman says his friend never understood why people were so fascinated by him. He viewed that he was just doing his duty. And I think he was always uh, amazed at how much interest there was in him and, and what he had done. Um, he was kind of a reluctant hero. That sentiment was echoed by Armstrong's family. They say he never lost his boyhood wonder of aviation and exploration. In a statement, they said, quote, the next time you walk outside on a clear night and see the moon smiling down at you, think of Neil Armstrong and give him a wink. You can read the entire statement on WCPO.com.